Hello there my crafty friends, this is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and today I want to show you how to put together this mom's box card. You can see on this one it says happy birthday and the other option is for it to say happy fall. That's the one we're going to do today. And you can see we've got the lovely rolled mums on there with some flowers and the base is made to look like a wine barrel. So you can see how beautiful that looks and all of its three dimension. And then when we look at the back, like most of my box cards, you've got the note card on the back where you can write your personal message. And again, that back also looks like a wine barrel and it will lay pretty flat uh, because of the way the flowers are rolled you may still need to add some extra postage it's not going to be completely flat but pretty darn flat this file also comes with a, a special sized envelope because this one is a little bit of an awkward size let's go ahead and get started putting this one together so i'm just gonna pull over everything and we're gonna make our fall our happy fall version of this card. So I've already gone ahead and rolled up the rest of the flowers and I just want to show you how to do this. It just comes in a little strip. If you're used to doing any quilling or rolled flowers this is going to be the same thing. I like to just hold it between two of my fingers and just try to tightly roll that strip all the way together. You'll notice on one end of the strip there is a lot of lines cut into it and then there's a solid piece. That solid part will be what is considered the bottom. And you can see I'm just giving you a close up here of how to really get this rolled up. And I'm just rolling that really tight between my fingers. If you had a quilling tool or something to roll this around, you could certainly do that as well. Once you've got it all rolled up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right at the bottom where it's solid and then get that closed up nicely. Just, you know, just a little dab of glue. It doesn't take a lot. These are pretty small pieces. And then while you're holding that, you can go ahead and start flailing out the pieces that make it look more like a mum. So like I said, the uh, top will have all the slits so you can just flail those pieces out and uh, you know you can start doing this I like to leave the center uh, leave some little bit rolled up there in the center and just roll the outsides roll it however you want and then later we could always um, do that some more if we need to so there is our flower you'll repeat that 13 more times we have a total of 14 flowers and then once you have that done, let's go ahead and get our panels for the inside of our box. Let's get those put together. You'll notice they have numbers on them. They're a little bit hard to read the numbers, but I think you'll know which one's which. So the uh, panel number one and two is where we're gonna place the flowers. And then panel three is just all leaves. So we're going to put the flowers on the little circular areas that are on the leaves. Some of them are a little bit difficult to find because of the way that this leaf is situated and some of them overlap, but I think you'll get it figured out. So again, I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue and then just press down to hold those there for a moment, get them adhered to that panel. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of these. And you know, if you don't get them in quite the right place, it's not a big deal. These flowers are nice and busy, and so are the leaves behind it that no one's gonna notice if they aren't in the exact same spot. So I'm just gonna continue going around, adding the flowers. And like I said, I like to get mine all rolled up first and then get them added on here. You only have to hold them for a moment and let that glue sink in to hold them into place. more so each layer will have seven flowers on it well uh, the first two layers like I said the third layer is just the leaves so I'll go ahead and add the last one here and you can see what I mean uh, they're a little difficult to find but again 
there's really no wrong place to put these flowers on these panels. And then once you've got that first panel done, go ahead and make sure those are attached really well. Set that off to the side and let it dry. And then we're gonna do the same thing to panel two. This is also a good time if you wanted to spread out those flowers a little bit more. You could certainly do that now that they're attached on there and you can see how they fill, are filling in. So even if you wanted to wait and get them attached, and then start um, puffing them out, you could certainly do that too. But again, we're on panel two now and I'm adding the rest of those flowers. So some of them are gonna go up into the leaves and then you can see there's a couple of stems with just a circle on top. That circle area is where we're gonna add a flower. And once we have all of these done, I'm telling you this card is gonna look so nice and full with all of these flowers on here. And there I am just pointing out where those flowers are gonna go on those stems. And they're nice and sturdy. I had to go back and adjust the size of the stems to make sure these are nice and sturdy. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you might just want to, again, look at how wide you've made your flower and then just fluff some of those out. So you can see here, I'm gonna add the last two, uh, last two flowers to my uh, panel for uh, panel two. We'll put those on there and let them dry a second. All right, so we've got all of our panels done. Now what we can do is go ahead and assemble the front of our card. Okay, I've got the front and the card for the back pulled up here, and I went ahead and added some score lines to the front and then the bottom half of the note card here. So that way you have better placement for the black strips that go across it. So I've updated the file for that, and that makes it a lot easier to make all your placement correctly. So when you go to add the happy fall or happy birthday to the front piece, you just want to get that centered in between those score lines and then that way you'll know that everything will fit on there perfectly. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to this long strip and then the, the long strip is going to go on the top part of the um, of the pot <laughs> and then the smaller strip will go on the bottom. The only thing you need to be mindful of with these strips is making sure that the side angles are going the correct direction because you want to make sure they're going the same direction. So I'd like to place them on there first, make sure I've got them going the right way, and then add glue to the back because there's nothing worse than getting that angle the wrong direction. They'll look a little goofy. So that longer strip will go on the top and then the shorter strip will go on the bottom. Again, just looking for that score line to help with the placement of where those go. So the strips are going to sit on top of those score lines. So the score line is only at the bottom of where that strip would go. So here I am adding some glue to the bottom strip and then placing that just on top of the score line and getting that in place on the note card. And remember, because this is a note card, it's gonna fold in half. You're only gonna find the score lines on that bottom half. And then there'll be that score line all the way across the middle where you'll fold the note card in half. All right, so I've got the strips there added. We'll just fold this in half so you can see. There's our other, our fold score line. And then there's our note card made. And then on the inside, we've got this other piece. I cut this one out of a lighter brown. You can certainly cut it out of white or cream or you know whatever color you want. And then we're just gonna add that to the inside. This is where you're gonna write your personal message. So you could certainly do this as a print and cut to type something up on there, stamp it, write something, however you would like to do that. And then when you go to place it, you should have a nice even border all the way around uh, 
on the inside of your note card. So just get that lined up, and then when you like where it is, go ahead and press that down. And you can see that nice even border that goes all the way around. All right, our note card is good to go for the back side of our box card. And then now on the front, let's go ahead and add those black strips. So again, the long one goes on top. I'm just making sure I've got the strip going the right direction. And then the shorter strip will go on the bottom. And then just find those score lines that are on there to help you with the placement of these strips. And your strip will sit just above the score line. Just getting it nice and flush on the edges, making sure it's nice and straight. And then when you like the placement of it, go ahead and press that into place. And then we'll do the same thing with the top strip. Add some glue to the back. Remember, it doesn't take a lot of glue. And the, if you add too much glue, you're gonna end up with a mess coming out from behind it, and it can also warp the paper so you just want to be mindful it doesn't take a lot of glue to get these things tacked down and you can certainly use tape runner on here if you prefer but I like to work with liquid glue so you've got time to move things around if you need to all right our card is coming together so this long strip is the box base and we're just gonna fold on all of those score lines and then this last score line, you've got the tab that will fold that down together and turn it into a box. So I'm gonna wait and close the box up later, but I just wanna show you, you could certainly go ahead and do it now and then slide your tabs into it. But I am going to wait, and then I like to put that tab on the inside to hide it better. So for me, the way that I like to put my panels on the inside, the front panel, I'm going to fold the tabs towards me. So this is um, sometimes takes a little bit of work because the way you add the score line in the cutting machine, it wants to fold the other direction. And sometimes it's easier to fold it back and then go ahead and fold it forward. But I like to do my first one for folded forward, so I have a, um, I can use that tab to give me some space from the front of the box to my first panel. And then it's these boxes, so the front and back are slightly longer than the sides. So you just want to find the side panel, what will be the side of your box. And then what I'm going to do is take the tab of panel one and then find the front of what will be the side of my box and I'm gonna glue that tab onto the side. I hope that makes sense. So let me show you here. We're just gonna add some glue to the tab and then I'm gonna find that score mark that makes the side of my box. So again, the side is slightly smaller and then I'm just gonna like hold that up so I can find that um, that score line and then I'm just gonna lay that on there and get that nice and secure so I'm putting that fold tab right to the edge of the score line of my box and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold that and make sure it's nice and secure on there so that is see how it'll fold forward. So that is the first panel that goes in the card. Now I've got panel three, and with this one you can fold backwards on those score lines, which is the easy way. And I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to one side. And I will say I'm using the numbered edge of all of these panels to glue down first. It doesn't matter which side, but you wanna make sure that you're using the same side on all three panels. And this one I'm gonna to do towards the back. So I'm gonna line up that side panel uh, next to the score line for the back wall. And then once I've got that lined up, I can go ahead and press that down. So 
it's you know it's not so easy to show you on camera it's a lot easier to just do it so uh, apologize apology for my fumbling while I go through all this but I'm just gonna line that edge right on the edge of that score line and then I can fold that over and then just press it down really well I'm also making sure that the bottom of my inside panels is flush with the bottom of this box. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and flush top and bottom. So that way when everything closes up, it'll, it'll look really nice and professional. And then we just need to add our middle, our tab number two. And this one, we're going to fold those side tabs backwards again. And I'm going to add this and just kind of eyeball the middle of the, of the inserts that we already have there. And then I'm just going to put this one in the middle of those. So here I am adding the glue again. This is on the tab that has the number on it. So all three of these have the numbered side will be glued down first. And then I'm just kind of eyeballing the center. You know, it's, it's kind of a rough guesstimate here. And then I'm just going to apply that side tab and get that glued down nicely. And um, some, you know, it's a little difficult to get these to lay flat with the flowers already on there. So you just try your best. But you can see now we've got the side panel with all of our flowers. There's the front of our box. And then now we can fold them all down and uh, try to lay them flat. So that first tab I have to fold towards me, the other ones I just lay flat and I'm gonna add glue to all of them. And then what I can do is take the rest of the box and just fold it over flat and it will attach in the correct place for all of these side tabs. So for, you know, it's a, uh, it sounds like a complicated process, but for me, I find this a lot easier. On the happy birthday card, I made the box first and then slid the tabs in, and I had to go back and add a lot more glue and getting things straightened up, and it just wasn't as clean of a process. This takes a little bit longer, but I feel like the results from doing it this way are a lot easier and um, you know your inserts will be nice and straight so a uh, little flower got in the way so i had to kind of fold it back up a little bit to get it out of the way and then i'm just going to make sure that the bottom of my box is still nice and flush with the bottom of my panels and then all i have to do is just run my finger up and down where those tabs are to get everything glued in nicely so just really burnishing those edges to make sure that they're glued in place. We don't want anything to move. And then I'm just gonna open up that box, fold it the other direction, and then press that down right on those lines again, making sure that everything is nice and flat. All right, and everything looks good there. So now we just have to close up the back of our box. So uh, here's just a look from the from the other direction. You can see how it fold, everything folds nicely. And now the paper is trained to go both directions. So to fold up the back, I like to put my um, tab on the inside of the box. That's just a personal preference. Um, then it's to me it looks a little more hidden. You could certainly put it on the outside because we're going to add these um, the note card to the back that you won't see it if that's easier for you but here I can just kind of lay that card down and then add some glue to that tab and fold that up nicely again it's not gonna lay completely flat because of the flowers so it might be easier to just pick it up and try to do that while you're holding it to get it uh, adhered really nice and then go ahead and open that card back up take a look at it fold it the other direction Make sure everything's folding well. And that looks really good. So I've got
got my flowers on there just making sure those are looking nice some of them do get kind of caught on that uh, on the lip there and just gotta try to pull them up you may need to use like a weeding tool or something to pull up a couple of those little petals get those above the brown and then you can go ahead and flail them out some more if you need to so I'm just adjusting my flowers here and spreading them out a little bit more to take up more space. You have plenty of opportunity to fix these before you put it in an envelope. Looks a little better. Okay, we've got the front and back. So we want to add the glue to the box, not to the pot shape because it's larger than the box. So I'm just gonna add the glue right to the box. Again, you don't need a ton of glue. You can certainly use tape runner for this part if you want, but I like using the liquid glue so I've got time to move things around. So I'm gonna add this to the front and then I wanna make sure that it is flush top and bottom. And then you wanna try to center it left and right. You will have some overhang but just do your best to try to get that nice and centered. So when you're looking at that front piece that says happy fall, the kind of where it starts to curve, if you look at the bottom, the curve part should be like right at the edge of the box. And right where it starts to curve is what will fall off. And then I'm just making sure we're nice and flush top and bottom so there I am checking the bottom and see the curve there and you can see where the curve just goes over the edge of the box so once you like that you know it's a little bit difficult to press that on so it's easier when you flip it over you can kind of give it a little pressure there to help push that on and then we're going to do the same thing to the back so I'm adding that glue to the base of the box and then we're going to take that note card and add that to the back. You want to make sure that you put the note card on the correct direction. You want those black stripes to be facing you and then make sure the card's going to open up towards you. And again, I'm going to make sure that we're nice and flush top and bottom and then finding that curve at the bottom of the box and then uh, putting that right to the edge. And then I can kind of fold that over, press down a little bit to help get that pressed into place. Hold on that and there we go. There is our beautiful mom's happy fall box card with the lovely foil you could do that as a print cut um, you can foil it like I did you can sketch it however you want to put that happy fall or you could leave it off and leave it blank or add your own message on there that works too so now that we've got that done you can see everything's gonna fold nice and flat the next thing we have to do is put together our envelope so this file is a little bit of a odd shaped card when it's flat. So I went ahead and added an envelope file to go with it. So the envelope comes in four pieces. You've got the big main piece there with the fold. You've got the um, flat, the front flap there that has the small score line. And then you've got the side flaps that will help close up the sides. So that big, large piece is the main part of your envelope. It's like the back wall and the part that folds up. And then this piece here with the small score line with a small tab is the top or the part where you would like glue close your envelope. So I'm just putting that uh, seam on the inside of my envelope because this checkered piece is what's going to go on the inside to be the liner in my card. So when you add that top piece on there, you just want to make sure you're nice and flush at the top. And you can see I have to readjust mine a little bit there and then press that down nice and firm. Um, you, you know, it's a, a small flap on there, but you want to make sure it's nice and straight. And then you can go ahead and open that up, 
press that on firmly. Had a couple little spots I needed to add a little bit more glue, so I was able to just stick that fine point nozzle under there, put a little more glue in there. So I've got that added. And then we've got our two side flaps. And the flap is not much thicker than the um, actual fold part. So to know which side needs to be glued down, look for the part that is more flat, that doesn't have angles on the edges. And that is your side uh, tab, that's your glue tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of glue on there. And you'll also notice it's not gonna go completely um, up and down the entire middle. So we want to get that put towards the uh, bottom part of our envelope. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to line it up at the bottom. It took me a minute. <laughs> Uh, not at the top. We actually want it lined up at the bottom. So here I am scooting it down Line it up nice and flush with that score line at the bottom and you'll see it actually gonna fit just under that um, Glue tab at the top. So it's all meant to fit in there perfectly arranged so once you get that into place, you want to make sure that the score line is nice and flush with the edge of your uh, card base, uh, sorry, envelope base, <laughs> and then get that press on there really nicely. Again, you can see me using the liquid glue. It gives me a moment to make some fine adjustments. Whereas the tape runner, it's like once it's on there, you're stuck in place and this is going to hold a lot nicer than the tape runner. So I'm just adding those fine dots of glue. Don't want to put too much glue on there, make a mess of everything. So I'm just using those fine dots. And then again, we'll go ahead and place the straight edge all the way down into that bottom fold line and then flush to the edge. And you can see how it goes just flush right up to the fold tab the glue tab of the top of the envelope and we'll just fold that up there on the edge get that nice and pressed down make sure you're uh, flush all the way to the, to the side with that score line all right we've got our the base of our envelope put together and then this piece here is the liner that goes on the inside and it's got the one score line at the top. That score line is going to match up with the score line in the top of your envelope. So when you open the envelope, you've got that piece on there that is gonna show through. Here I'm gonna use some tape runner and I'm going to do just the top flap first and then I'll go ahead and add more to the bottom and my tape runner ran out. So let me go and get another one and get going. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> I got a new uh, roll of tape in my tape runner and now it's gonna work. So like I said, I'm just gonna add this top flap in here first and get that lined up nicely and then we'll go ahead and add the rest of it. So I'm just lining up that score line at the bottom and then Trying to make it um, both sides, make sure I'm in the center there. And then once I like the placement, go ahead and press that into place. And then I just like to fold it down and then just give everything a nice press. So not too difficult to add that liner in there. I think the hardest part about this envelope is making sure which pieces are supposed to go where. So now we can go ahead and fold up the bottom part um, I can add that tape runner all around the bottom and then we can just lay that into place and we'll have this beautiful liner for the inside of our envelope and it just makes it look a lot more sophisticated. You certainly don't have to add this liner, but again, I think it looks a lot more sophisticated with the liner in there. I'm just going to lay that in, fold up that top score line, and then just press everything down. 
and get that pressed in. We don't need it all the way to the bottom. You're not gonna see that bottom. So that's why um, you know it'll come up short at the bottom. So now we're gonna fold those side flaps up and then fold the bottom flap up. And then we're gonna add some glue where those meet. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use tape runner and I'm gonna attach just down the, the side of that bottom flap. And that will ensure uh, the right distance. If you added it to the side flaps, just don't go all the way up. And then you've got your sides on there. Press those down really nicely. And then now your envelope is put together. So before I put this card in there, um, you know, you're still, you can see here I'm showing you, I screwed up a little bit. I didn't get that top piece nice and flush. So you just want to be mindful of that. That's why I've got that little line there. No big deal. But go ahead and stick your hand in there and get that um, kind of fluffed up a bit so you've got room to add your envelope. But you can always send your envelope, stick it to your mat, and then sketch your um, address on there or foil it as well. So those are other things you can do to really dress up this envelope. But um, let's see how it fits with the card. Fold that nice and flat. And you'll see putting it in that direction, it fits, but it's a little bit hard to take it out of there. But you'll see, um, you see how it's still kind of bulky. So just know now to close up your envelope, put some stickers on there, put some double-sided tape, um, throw just some tape around the seam, however you would like to do that. But that is our envelope. But you can see here now it's like kind of difficult to pull that out of there. So I would turn that sideways and put that in there like this so it's a lot easier to pull it out so that's how I would put that in your envelope but there is our mom's card and envelope